Um, I'm Filipino and Korean. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it really never even really occurred to me, actually. Um, yeah, because we were so close, so it's like when we started dating, it wasn't anything new. And it, it really didn't have anything to do with race. Um, I mean, like our culture is pretty much the same. It's not yeah. Like, yeah. I guess I'm pretty, my family's pretty Americanized and all. So. Well, I guess we're, I was excited. Yeah. Just because because we were actually dating, and I'm just yeah, thinking, yeah. I, mean, I, I wasn't hesitant at all. Actually, my parents had already mentioned it. Before we dated, yeah. So that's how close we were. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, I feel like um, a lot of people think it's, we're cute <laughs> because we, we look so different. But I don't. I can't see myself with him, like you see me, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I only see him, but I don't oh, see yeah, like, sure. oh, you're guess, a white yeah, guy. Really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I guess when we see interracial couples, we're like, oh, look, look. Whenever we take pictures together, I realize how, like, pale I am. She but it's, it's not weird. <laughs> it's like, how <laughs> um, I mean, it doesn't. It's not weird. It's not weird, though. It's not a big deal. People notice it, like, his family, I get really dark during the summer because of my Filipino side, and they thought he was eating. Like, I mean, not, not, that not that it was bad, but the point is, I guess, like, they're, everyone's um, a lot more tolerant, I guess. It's not. It's, it's a lot more weird. tolerant than, you know, I guess a lot of people would think. It's a lot more tolerant than I would have thought, you know. My mom at first wanted to stay with me because I needed happy. <laughs> it was more, it was, yeah, it was more like I knew it, or wait, you guys just started dating. I've never, I've never had thing. any negative reaction. Yeah. Um, I guess my parents or my family asked what he was, like if he was white or Korean or something, but then they didn't say, oh, he's white. But they did ask. I think my parents asked you were like half black. Yeah. Some of your family asked. I didn't know what I was asking. You look like it in summer. Yeah. But nothing negative. I feel good. Yeah. Because I know some of my friends, my full Korean friends, they're not allowed to date. I, well, they're allowed to date white guys, which is kind of weird. They're not allowed to date dark, like, anyone that has dark skin. That's kind of weird. Um, like, when I lived in Korea, a lot of the full Korean girls didn't, like, hang out with me. So, like, that, that's weird. Yeah. Just because of that. Oh, they, they, everybody really likes her a lot. They don't treat me different. At first, I did feel different because I was the only, I guess, non-white person at Christmas. Or no, thank you. Yeah, the biggest thing is she's always helping out with my mom and stuff. Because like, okay, like, because right. that's my culture. That. Yeah, to, that like the daughters and the mothers cook. Like, um, but they, it was kind of weird. Cause they was like, no, we don't come in here. Just the older ladies help us. Like, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know, like all my uncles and stuff. They'd be like. That's a good girl. Yeah. That's a good girl. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. And then my mom's kind of weird about it too, because she's so used to dad being not bossy, but in charge of everything. But we're kind of 50 50. And so they're like, why isn't you know, is he as intense, remember? Yeah. So I'm, I'm saying, I think that's a culture thing too, because she's so used to dad playing and everything. female and male uh, parts, both parts. And so like people acknowledge it but they don't think it's bad yeah. or like... I mean they'll, they'll talk about it. Yeah. It's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah. So... I don't know. I 
Because it, we, we haven't gotten into any problems. So if they had an issue with something, I, I guess I would tell them not to like, get them. Yeah, just don't worry about what other people think. Yeah. Well, that's interesting because I just came from a conference that talked about um, inter-marriages and how like demographics are going to be different and um, I always checked off Asian when I took tests but now I put Pacific Islander and Asian because that's what my dad is and I'd be more aware of it but I want them to be uh, like I don't want them to say I'm white and Asian I want them to say that they're Irish and Scottish and Korean and Filipino because that's what they are right. and if we if we eat Korean food it's not Asian food, it's Korean food. Like, I want them to know and be proud of it. Yeah. Because yeah, they're, they're going to be Star, beautiful. Star Wars commercial. <laughs> yeah, you're a contradiction. And he says that too. He's like, if we have kids, you're going to so be contradiction. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I was raised. We, we eat Filipino food and Korean food. Um, my dad got me a little bit of Dali. My mom is some Korean, stuff like that. My family yeah, they have a lot of tradition, uh, more than you think. Treats, I guess. Yeah. So, if they if they come out slant eyed with red hair, they need to know why they have red hair and slant eyes. Like, <laughs> I want them to know where they came from. Yeah. So I probably raise them like that, in that they're already interracial themselves, so it doesn't matter. I don't think it should matter who they do. I think they notice it, and it's, uh, I don't like, all, all my white friends, like, they'll, they'll, you know, see it, and they'll, you know, pay attention to it, but nobody, I mean, I don't know anybody that's like, oh, man, that's wrong, or, no, I don't, I don't know anybody that, you know, doesn't, you know, they're that. Well, terrible. I know, I know, like, a lot of military people, um, like, if they get, like, if a white guy goes overseas and comes back with, like, a Seriously, like Filipino or a Japanese girl, you're like, oh, they're just coming over here because, or they're just marrying you because they want to come over here. So that's <laughs> that's like a big thing in the military. I know that. <coughs> um, but overall, I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think a lot of people. I think it's not because there's a lot of commercials and it's on the media, it's in the magazines, it's on TV shows with interracial couples and, and families. Like just the other day, I was actually kind of surprised because I saw a little light skinned, curly, black haired black girl <coughs> climbing on the lap of her grandma, but her grandma was white. And I was like, you know, they should have more of this kind of stuff because that's how it really is. I would tell them that good thing they're not in their relationship. So they shouldn't worry about it. But if it was like my family, um, like, no offense to anybody, because I don't agree with it, but um, my grandpa had a lot of issues with black people, because he's really old, I don't know, and he he wouldn't have anything if I dated a black guy, I bet, but it's just some people are stuck in their ways, and some people are just kind of ignorant, so it's like, you can't really change. If people's opinions matter that much, then why not me? I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I mean, it's also something that pisses me off. You know, I don't know. No, I said I like being different. That's not why I started dating you, but yeah, I'm just saying it's good to be different to see other things. You're pretty unique. Mm -hmm. See, because we're so we're so the same. But we look so different. So I say it doesn't matter what you look like. We were raised differently, but we're the same. I wish I looking at somebody.